Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy Coding. Today we are going to discuss about runtime polymorphism. So we have discussed overriding, overloading concept in the previous session. So today we will discuss about runtime polymorphism. So let's start with the runtime polymorphism in Java. So what are the points which we are going to discuss today? That is, what is runtime polymorphism? Example of runtime polymorphism. What is upcasting? Examples from Selenium framework. So let's move on to the first concept. That is, what is runtime polymorphism? or dynamic method dispatch so it is a process in which a call to an overridden method is resolved at a runtime rather than compile time so uh, the runtime polymorphism is linked with the overriding concept so the call to an overridden method is resolved at a runtime rather than compile time when we discuss the examples it will be more clear to you so first we will go through these definitions in this process an overridden method is called through the reference variable of a superclass. So in this method, the overridden method is called through the reference variable of a superclass. So let's move on to the next point because in this starting, it would be a little tough to get the idea of what is runtime polymorphism through these definitions. So it will be clear when we move on to the examples. So let's look into that. So let's first understand the upcasting before runtime polymorphism. So what is upcasting? You can see that if the reference variable of parent class refers to the object of child class, it is known as upcasting. That is, reference variable of parent class refers to the object of child class, it is known as upcasting. From the definition, it will be difficult to understand the concept. But when we look into the examples, it will be easy. So, let's move on to the example. We have two classes, that is class A and class B. So, uh, class A is our parent class and class B is our child class. So what we are doing here, class B extends class A. So class B extends class A. And here the object is creating. So how it is creating? A that is parent class and the object A is equal to new B. So what's happening here? This is parent class. A is equal to new child class. So this is called as upcasting. So here reference variable of a parent class refers to the object of the child class. So here reference variable of a parent class. Reference variable means this and the parent class is A. So here reference variable of a parent class is used to call the method of a child class. That is an overridden method. So this is known as upcasting. I hope now it is clear to all of you. So let us move on to the next point. That is for upcasting, we can use the reference variable of a class type or an interface type. Yeah, we can use uh, for upcasting, we can use interface or class. That's it. I mean, here you can use class B extends cla class B extends class A and you can use implements uh, some C or something. That is some interface C or something. So we can use interface as well as the class. So let's move on to the next one that is example of Java runtime polymorphism. So here we have two classes that is bike and splendor. So bike is the parent class and splendor is the child class. So splendor extends bike. So uh, this is child class and splendor belongs to the bike class. So both classes are having two methods that is same methods. Void run that is running and the same method is present inside splendor class as well. That is void run running safely with the 60 kilometer. So both classes having the same method. So this is called method overriding. So I hope it is clear to all of you. If you are not familiar with the method overriding or overloading concept, please watch my previous videos. So now let us see how it is called in the main method. Here we are calling the run method by the reference variable of the parent class. Our parent class is the bike and we are calling the child class method. So here we are doing the upcasting. And we are calling the method b dot run. It refers to the subclass object and subclass method overrides the parent class method. So subclass method is invoked at runtime, which means this method is invoked at runtime. So this is called runtime polymorphism. Since the method invocation is determined by the JVM, not by the compiler, so this is called the runtime polymorphism. That is, the method invocation is determined by the JVM, not by compiler. So, it is known as the runtime polymorphism. So, you should remember this point. Okay. So, let's move on to the next one. That is, runtime polymorphism with data member. A method is overridden, not the data members. So, we have seen a method is overriding. We are saying method overriding, not the data members. So, there is no overriding for 
data members. So runtime polymorph polymorphism can't be achieved by data members because uh, only method overriding is there. So only runtime polymorphism with the method is possible and not with the data members. So let us see one example. So in this example, both the classes have data members speed limit. That is in the speed limit 90 and in speed limit 150. So both classes having the same name in same data member. With reference to the parent class, we are creating an object for the subclass. What we are doing here is system.out.println object dot speed limit. We are trying to access this speed limit data member. So what will happen? So we are accessing the data member by the reference variable of parent class which refers to the subclass object. So we are accessing the data member which is not overridden. So it is not possible. I mean uh, we are we are accessing the data member which is not overridden. So it will access the data member of the parent class. So that's why it will always call the parent class. Parent class data member that is speed limit 90. So we will get the output of speed limit 90 only. The reason is data member overriding is not possible. Now let us see how runtime polymorphism is implemented in Selenium. In Selenium we use runtime polymorphism concept. So we will see how it is implemented. So using web driver interface, web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver, web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver. So we are starting our automation script with any one of these steps. So it means that we can execute the same script on any browser. So there are many concepts linked to the simple step. So the first one is inheritance that is the Firefox driver or Chrome driver, whatever the driver that is inheriting from the web driver. So this is the parent one inheriting from the web driver and method overriding that is all the methods present in the web driver is overrated i mean web driver is an interface and all the methods present in the web driver is overrated and the next one is upcasting so this is upcasting we are referring to the parent class so referring to the parent class that is web driver that is casting the object to a super type so we are referring to the parent type parent that means super types that is web driver so these are the examples of runtime polymorphism from selenium framework if you are new to my channel please care to subscribe my channel for latest updates i hope this video is useful to all of you in the next video we will see compile time polymorphism by that session our oops concept will be completed so thank you so much for watching